Hey, what's up guys? This is my video for the best scopes of 2020. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every scope brand and I'm gonna pick their Corvette for Chevrolet. I'm gonna pick the Asian bitch for the strippers. I'm gonna pick the best of the best from each one of these scope companies and the one scope in everybody's scope line that I think is a true home run. Now there's a couple of scopes I'm gonna leave out. The turd scopes, you'll see a list of them right here. None of them are gonna appear in this video because they're a total waste of money. Just my personal opinion, but I test a crap load of scopes. The true tier one scopes. There's no need listing all them because when the scope starts at about $2,000 and go up, you know you're gonna get something really freaking nice. But there are some brands I'm gonna list here and I'm gonna tell you up front why I wouldn't buy from these scope companies. Some of them have crummy warranties. Some of them are just a bullshit company. Some of them offer the worst value for the dollar in the optics industry. All right, enough of me talking. I'm gonna go from A to Z. We're gonna pick out the best for each one of these scope companies. Here we go. All right, guys, now in a lot of these reviews, I don't get to start out with one of the best of the best. That's not the case with this Arkin. The SH4 4-14 is an absolutely incredible scope. It comes with a zero stop, great precision, super good glass for its price range. Everything about it is a pure bread winner. Now, I'll admit it, I'm a huge fan of Athlon, but their Midas Tack 5 to 25 by 56, in my humble opinion, is their home run swing. This thing is a great freaking scope in every conceivable way. For just over $1,000, you get features that you won't see in other scopes for under $1,500. Athlon killed it with this. I've had every Blackhound scope that they make, but the 1 to 8 by 28 MOA Genesis is in a league all by itself. 34 millimeter, 50 MOA per revolution, locking illumination, great glass, great tracking. The illumination, you can even use it during the daylight, which a lot of these scopes, that's not possible. Blackhound, well done. Okay, now I'm not big on these little package scope deals, but this Burris RT6 is really something special. With the Fast Fire 3 red dot, the 1 to 6 by 24 RT6, which by itself is just a badass freaking scope. It also comes with the PEPR mount. This is a great low powered scope. You can't beat it. Okay, now best pure bang for the buck. This may be one of the best scopes on the market the Bushnell Forge. Now, if you'll look around, you can find a second focal plane incredibly cheap. But even if you pay full price for one of the first focal planes, you're getting one of the best, most repeatable, easy to use scopes on the market. And it comes with a reticle that doesn't overwhelm you with information. It shows you what you need and nothing else. The Delta Striker. The only way I know how to put this is it is European quality for Japanese prices. This thing is crystal clear all the way through its power range. They've made a huge name for themselves in F-Class shooting because of the repeatability and the fact these things will never, ever let you down, whether you're in competition or not. These scopes make my dick jump on hard. It is that freaking nice, and I'm not exaggerating in the least. The newest scope company on this list is Element. And in the Element line, the top of the line Nexus is by far my favorite. Now it should be for its price. I'll have reviews coming on the other two Element scopes, but for right now, if you can come up with the scratch and you can afford to get one of these Nexus scopes, do not freaking pass it up. Look at the image that you see down range, watch the full review. Now to a lot of guys, the EOTech optics are only known for the low powered military type optics but when you see one of their rifle scopes oh my god is this shit nice digital illumination everything about it is just freaking incredible when eotech decided we're going to build a rifle scope they pulled out all the stops i mean all the stops zero stop 34 millimeter resettable turrets it checks every single box 
Now the Falcon 10 to 50 is something that's truly unique. This scope is built in two different versions. The first version is one that gives you a really deep field of view. The other version has an incredibly narrow field of view. Now what that's for is for guys that shoot field target, precision rim fire, that want to use their scope to actually judge the distance to the target. Look how quick it snaps in and out of focus. That's what it's meant to do. The Leupold 4.5 to 14 LRP long range precision. This is a scope that's one of my fallback scopes. When I'm spending my own money and I want a scope for under $1,000 that's built like a tank I'll never have to jack with and never have to worry about, this is one of my go-to scopes. It is that freaking good. I test a shitload of scopes. This is a pure 100% winner. The Myopta 6x42. This is the least tricky, least glamorous scope on this list, but it may be one of the scopes with the absolute best optics. There's nothing tricky about it. What you get with a scope like this is absolutely incredible European optics, flawless performance, and something you can hand down to your damn grandkids. If you love them, I, that's up to you. The Minox 3 to 9 by 50. Now, Minox offers a lot of scopes in a lot of different price ranges. To me, this is their home run swing. This is where they do their very best. A good budget scope, great glass, flawless performance, and it's not something that you're going to run into every day on the scope range. If you want something different, this could be it. All right, the Night Force SHV. Now, I know this is the least expensive Night Force, but... The most expensive night forces are insanely expensive. Not saying they're not worth it, but this for $1,000 is a killer freaking scope. If you have it, you'll never have to worry about, did I waste my money? You didn't. All right, now there's a double handful of primary arms optics of every single thing you can think of, but their little basic two and a half scope is absolutely perfect in my opinion if you're looking for something to throw on top of an ar an ak or a short range hog rifle that you can count on this is it for sure the right on 4 to 20 is a killer ass scope and something really cool about these guys they offer discounts to first responders and military and ex-military their stuff is as good as anything you'll find on the market in their price range a great group of guys and some incredible freaking scopes, this one included. Now the Sig Sauer 3 to 9 Whiskey 3. It is such, such a killer freaking scope for the price that you're paying for it. And there's nothing fancy, it's available in several different reticles, but what you get are optics that hit way, way the hell outside of its price range. Sig Sauer, y'all nailed this shit. The SWFA SS Classic. Now this thing is available in several different magnifications, several different reticles. My personal favorite is the 10 mil quad. In my humble opinion, and the opinion of a million freaking guys out there, there is not a better $300 scope on the market now or ever. You can not freaking miss with this scope. Here's a look at some of the different magnifications. Every one of them you get your money's worth. The Savorsky Z3. Now, my personal favorite in this line is the 4 to 12 by 50. If this scope can't get you laid, no scope can. True European optics at under $1,000. Optically, this is one of the two best scopes on this list and one of the best buys in the scope market, period. Now, I was probably the last some bitch in the world to get hip to tracked optics and what these guys are doing. What they're doing is offering shot glass, Japanese build, incredible freaking scopes. I just don't have enough adjectives in my 300 word vocabulary to tell you how nice this damn thing is. If you ever get a chance, ever get a chance, look through one of these scopes. I've got other reviews coming that are track scopes, but they're toric. Man. It is top of the line for a freaking reason. Way, way badass. Now you can go blind looking through a US Optics catalog and trying to look at all the different scopes they offer. The USO line 
TS20 to me is their home run swing. It comes with a certified quality checklist from the factory. They check every single scope in every conceivable way before they put it out on the market. The reticle for first focal plane is absolutely perfect. You can pick it up on the lower power settings and it doesn't grow too huge on the high end. The little Vortex Diamondback Tactical. Two years ago, this was a scope guys could not shut up and quit talking about. First focal plane scope for a true budget price. Something you can count on, of course, with Vortex. It doesn't matter what you do to it. They'll replace it if there's ever a problem. For the money that you pay and what you get with this particular scope, it's going to be hard to ever, ever freaking beat this thing. Now, last but certainly not least is the Zeiss Conquest V4. Along with a Savorsky that's listed in this review, these are the best glass that you can get for under $1,000. I don't care what anybody else says, under $1,000, the V4 along with the Savorsky are just unbelievable. Oh my God, this is a great, great freaking scope in any power range they offer. Okay guys, I told you I was gonna give you a few warnings and here they come. The Discovery Optics, period. There's so many of these Discovery Scopes that are cloned, you never know if you're getting an original and the originals now are not as good as they used to be. The BSAs, the reason I would say don't buy a BSA is their bullshit, useless, chicken shit warranty and the fact that they have so many problems, it is just incredible. Don't waste your money on a BSA and if you do, you'll be stuck with it. And the worst of the worst, the Osprey scopes. You'll find these at flea markets, gun shows, and that kind of thing. I have had no less than 20 guys contact me asking me to warn other guys not to buy these scopes. They are a huge ripoff. You are going to overpay for them out the ass. And if you have a problem, which you more than likely will, you're stuck with the damn thing. They'll ignore your emails, ignore your calls. Guys, I just wanted to be real with you guys and let you know three of the lines I wouldn't touch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Now, there's a link to a lot of these videos that I've done on these exact scopes below. You'll see it in the description. Check out all my videos. Share with your buddies. Call the bitch that stood you up for the prom. Send her a link. That bastard kid, you never owned up to it. Send him a link. Help me grow my channel if you can, because this video right here, even though you probably can't tell by watching it, I have about 30 hours in this video. I know it seems like it wouldn't, but I really do. A lot of the editing, the effects, the text, the overlays, and everything else that has to do with this video, it adds up over time. I feel blessed to be able to bring these videos to you guys, but if you get the chance and you can share them, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I've got a shitload of scope videos. I became the scope guy by accident, but now that I am, I'm taking it serious, and I want to make the best scope videos on YouTube. See you.